for the final time, back with more Dollhouse. This is episode 13 of season 2, season finale, series finale. This is the last episode of Dollhouse. Um, it's been quite a long journey with it. Um, I got so many recommendations and suggestions to do the show way back when, in like 2018, I started getting a lot of kind of requests to do it when I was like, you know, really kicking off with Buffy and stuff. Um, and it was September 2018. I started like recording season one in secret and then I released them all in February 2019, I think. Uh, so it's been a long time coming. So it's quite the gap in between uh, me posting season one and then starting season two like properly. So this is it. And I'm very sad about it. I'm excited to see what's going to happen and where they go with this final episode and how they're going to tie things together. Um, it ended with a kind of a flash of the future um, that we'd seen previously in like Epitaph 1 and stuff like that. So I'm assuming we're revisiting that timeline. Um, I did kind of re-familiarise myself with Epitaph 1 to prepare for this and I'm really intrigued to see how the show kind of gets wrapped up and what they're going to do and how they end their story when, you know, they were kind of planning for like five seasons or whatever. I'm, I'm intrigued to see what they do with this final one when they only end up getting two seasons. So yeah, it's sad, but it's also exciting and everything has to come to an end at some point. And this is just one of those times. Uh, it is, you know, it's quite rare I finish a show. It hasn't happened a lot since I started my channel because I've done a lot of like long running shows and a lot of the shows I react to, you know, are kind of like ongoing things. But Into Shield recently finished, we've had that. Um, but many of the shows I've like caught up with still have more time to go, but we don't have more time with Dollhouse, which is very sad, but I've really loved this show. I think there's been some really interesting ideas, some really great episodes, some cool characters, and I just hope that you know they've done justice to um, their story with this ending, even though it may not have been the ending they necessarily wanted um, and expected so soon, but... I'm really excited to get into this final episode and see how the story ends and how how these reactions end too, I suppose. But yeah, it's been an absolute blast reacting to the show and let's get into the final ever episode. 2020! You're not social distancing, are you? Ah, so we are seeing these guys again. If I have to kick your ass again. <laughs> oh. What are they gonna do with us? Good pleasant things. You'd be just as fat, Ambrose, if we hadn't run out of shellfish. True, but we're having Hardy and Ambrose and still. And Jeez. <gasps> Where did this body come from? Shit. It's a dumb show. Is he undercover? <laughs> I thought it was her earlier. I guess I do. <laughs> it's over. No! 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 Oh, I'm not prepared to see him like this again. Yes, yes, yes. Put things back the way they were, minds back the way they were. But maybe not yours. I can bring back the world. Oh. Well, that is handy. Do you want to go show your mum? Hmm. Yeah. Wholesome content. Look, the strawberries are ripe. <gasps> wow, those look amazing. Try one. Oh, they had a kid. Trust you, Mom. Maybe us. Maybe they're getting tired. Oh, her feeding him. He also thinks he's a little teapot, short and stout. Topher Brink is a genius, and you will keep a civil tongue in this house, or we'll put it in the stew. Yeah. Good to see you, my lord. <laughs> we don't really eat people's tongues. I've got a rocket scientist. Oh, that's really right. desperate. Not... You, you said there was a vaccine! There was, but this is new. So Calm down. Is... You are so horny. You're fat. Enough with the pet toy. <sighs> I've listened to you whine for way too long, Zone. 
Me this too. Than us. It's been like 10 minutes. Ah. Oh, can you switch? Sorry. English. Huh. I get your message. <gasps> That's Marissa. I keep feeling like, oh, someone's missing, and then I remember boys and I get sad. We want to stay sane, we gotta take something out first. Make room for it. To get what? <laughs> oh. Looks like you came a long way since I last saw it. Three summers ago? We've had some time to get it right. I just mean... No. That's why we agreed never to tell him. Keep him away from me. We agreed to keep him away from the tech. Oh. You chose to stay steeped in it, Tony. Seduced oh. by it. I would do anything for you. For both of you. Now we'll do anything for love. Oh dear. But I won't do that. <laughs> I've been knocking ten years. You still won't let me in. I've met you in a few times. Oh. You were sure we were gonna die. I mean, there's a lot of personalities to get to know. I think you've got a hundred people living inside your head. And you're the loneliest person I know. Oh. That's sweet. The trouble is now, prior to this, I was like, well, I've seen these guys in the future, so it's fine. But now we've kind of passed that point, anyone could. We were born ready. That's a cool image, though, like the thing on the side of their heads. Like the candles? That was dramatic. I like the music in this bit. Oh no. Hey, 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 it's okay, dude. Huh? Huh? Shit! I try to be my best. Oh hell. Nope. You'll have to keep doing <gasps> it if that's where you want to end up. Arthur. Thought we lost you in Reno. Why would someone do something so horrible to your face? Psycho. Lapsed. We got wounded. Get Mag down here. I'll okay. Where's Big Bang? Tell me where to look, darling. Some things are on the Cartesian. Darling. <laughs> Is the tech you're looking for in the lab? We came here for some juicy new prints. Not to let you take our world away. If you stay down here, you'll be shielded just oh, like us. Oh, jeez. Stay who you are. <sighs> Don't you dare. I have worked so hard to have a peaceful life here. It's harder for me than most. Hey, I get it. You think uh, I don't want every one of those skills firing through my head? I wasn't expecting Alpha to be like this, that's for sure. Oh. Uh. Set off the EMP. Mm. Let's go. I have a suggestion of what to do with them. Oh god, she's so cool. <laughs> Don't say something that makes me like you. You've been mean. It's bedtime. It breaks my heart. How many times has B come before A? This isn't something that comes on a drive. They tried to pull it out of him. Oh boy. They wiped his mind for years, and he never stopped loving you. That's you true. Kill a tech? Kill him. Shoot him. Fuck him out. Oh. Him you can string him along. I him think him. she's taking out some grief here. Yeah. Oh, I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm always alone. You're not alone. You've got so many people oh. in your head. This is mean. This is feels a little louder. We're best defined by our actions in the moment. With a wavelength of more than two meters, little damage is done to the surrounding tissue. Thank you. Oh, it's better than two meters. A minor explosion cascades into a major chain reaction. Explosion? 
it does the work for you. You said it could only be activated manually. Oh no. You're not coming back. Small price to pay. I want to burn more stuff, Father. Oh. I'll fix what we did to their heads. You fix what we did to the rest of the world. Your job is way harder. Look us up in a year or two. Not if you paid me. Mm, Man. Sure. Alpha just left. He said he couldn't stay. And if he was going to become what he was before, he won't. He's evolved. He will again. Well, I think he'd like to be alone when he finds out. I hope so, yeah. Man, like Adele's come like such a long way. Alpha said to dismantle it's crazy. the building. No more falling asleep now, only waking up. Who'd have thought he'd end up doing this, that saving him, like sacrificing himself to save literally everyone. Huh. I like that the last thing you saw were kind of like the faces of his friends. It's going to be Ballard. Yeah. Oh, it's a very different way of doing it. Oh, so he's always with her in that sense. This is a much happier ending than I was expecting, like for the most part. <laughs> okay, well, that was Dollhouse. I really loved that ending. I, I feel like they did the best they could with like having to rush through a lot of, you know, a lot of the story from like last few episodes and stuff and I don't feel like this particular episode like felt rushed I don't feel like that was the case whereas I kind of got a sense of that in the last few episodes um so I'm glad they didn't have to necessarily rush the last episode itself just maybe getting to this point um and it was a somewhat kind of well a bit of sweet ending I would say it was a lot happier than I was expecting it to be in all honesty and we saw a few extra people that I wasn't expecting to see. I wasn't expecting Alpha. Um, I wasn't expecting... I know it wasn't really Bennett because it was just a video of her from the past. But she was still in it. Um, stuff like that was actually really nice. And yeah, I'm actually really happy with that ending. I'm gutted about Topher. Gutted. Um, but it was a very kind of... I think, powerful ending to his arc. And the fact that we'd seen Epitaph 1 already, we knew he kind of, what would happen to like his mental state and stuff. I feel like he found some peace at the end. Um, and I love when he turned around and saw like that memory wall. I know like some of his pictures of his friends would be on there and that's kind of the last thing he saw, which I really liked. Um, and his final goodbye with Adele I thought was really lovely. And Bennett said in her video, what was it she was on about? Like, 
um, it's the actions that we do in the moment that are like important or what like really define us and stuff like that. It was something along those lines. And then we have like Topher's final act being an act of sacrifice to restore everyone and kind of save the day in that sense, given that it, you know, a lot of his actions in the past led up to this technology being used and abused like this anyway. So in the moment, he went out, you know, doing a good thing. And given how uncaring Topher initially seemed to be when the show first died, he was much more about himself and how much of a genius he is. Seeing his arc change, particularly like in season two to now, the fact that he ended up just an act of self-sacrifice to save all these people and, you know, doing his part and everyone else can kind of continue the work to rebuild the world now. I loved that journey. Um, and I probably would say, I mean, up to like the big twist with Boyd, you know, who was my favourite, but I, I think Topher's had the best arc on the show. And I, I think he probably is my favourite now because, you know, it's a good twist and everything with Boyd, but it did kind of, you know, it ruined my love and appreciation for that character because a lot of it was undermined by the fact that he was evil all this time. And, you know, that's just the nature of the show and the story they were going to tell. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, but Topher's arc has been so good. Um, the actor Franz has been incredible as well. And I'm glad we've got a lot of focus on him in this episode. And he got a lot of like sweet moments with Adele because I loved, you know, the kind of maternal relationship that she kind of formed with him. They went down the line in the future stuff. So we've got a lot more of that in this one. The fact that it's set in 2020 and everything's gone to shit is very true. Um, I think, you know, this whole doll, you know, imprint kind of thing is literally the only thing that hasn't happened in 2020 to make it the same kind of thing. So, you know, they weren't far off, really, considering this is what, like 2010 or something, I think, this episode aired, something like that. So, you know, they weren't too... <laughs> Too bad with uh, how insanely morbid 2020 ended up being. But yeah, I love Topher's whole journey and I'm absolutely gutted that obviously things happened to him that damaged him in that way. But I do feel like he found some peace at the end and really emotional that little kind of goodbye when he realised he was going to sacrifice himself. So I loved Topher's kind of journey um, and Adele came such a long way as well. I love how kind of warm and loving she seemed in like this future compared to how cold hearted she was when you know the show first died. I've loved her arc as well. Um and her kind of living happily ish for the most part with Priya and um T, I think, or Tony, Tony Jr. Um and now she can kind of help fight the good fight and help rebuild, which is wonderful. Again it's a lot of the dollhouse's actions were kind of, you know, caused by Topher's technology and Adele was kind of running things from that dollhouse and stuff like that and they made mistakes along the way and those two are kind of key people who can rebuild the world now and make up for some of their actions. So that I think is really lovely and I, I liked how those two characters really did end up. Um, and yeah, seeing Bennett again, Summer Glau, in like that video footage and Topher likes thanking her. Like, some really kind of gut punchy moments that I thought worked really well. Um, and even Ballard's very quick, sudden death. Um, it's kind of like, oh, I, I guess that's it. But then they had the nice scene with him at the end and the fact that he's in Echo now forever. Kind of a weird relationship that those two will probably have. Um, yeah. That is kind of bizarre in a way, but I also kind of like the sentiment of it and that, you know, letting him in and she literally did there at the end by kind of imprinting his personality into the many 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 she has um so they're kind of always together in that sense but also not really because you know his body's kind of gone um again he d his body died again poor ballard but i i liked that kind of thing and the fact that ballard was often frustrated that echo seemed afraid of commitment or stuff and that, she was always kind of constantly thinking ahead and moving forward as opposed to living in the moment. Um, like Bennett was saying in the video, you know, your actions in the moment. Um, and, you know, Balan's final moment in that body, you know, was trying to help and comfort that woman who'd gotten shot in the legs. Um, and just like that, you know, that was kind of what got him killed, just an act of kindness like that. And the fact that he still gets to live on in a way in Echo 
it's a good way of kind of using the abilities that we'd seen her kind of develop over these past two seasons. So there's kind of some piece to that as well. It is very bizarre, I won't lie, but I, I do like the sentiment of it. Um, so I'm glad that those two kind of ended up um, in a decent place again. It's a whole new world, like anything can happen now. Um, and they can just have some, an interesting life, I imagine, but um, a peaceful one as well, hopefully, which I really enjoyed. Um, and seeing those people from Epitaph 1 come back as well, that was really cool. Um, and they ended up in a decent enough place as well. Um, I mean, you know, one of them is currently wheelchair bound. And I don't know if that's a permanent thing or, you know, the bullet wounds in her legs will heal. She got shot in the legs a lot, so I don't know. But again, she seems to be settled and happy and that guy's going to go off and raise that little girl, which is kind of nice, the Caroline little girl. Um, who I also thought was great, that little actress is great. The one who played like little Caroline. Um, you know, like snide little remarks to Ballard and stuff. And like, oh, she likes it when you're corny, really. She was actually really, really good. Um, so yeah, seeing them again makes sense given how they featured prominently in Epitaph 1 and their stories got wrapped up in a nice way. Um, the idea of like Tony going off and having his own little group for all this time and distancing himself from his son to try and protect him from the technology, but that's not exactly what Priya wanted from it. But... They seem to have patched things up, but there had to be some angst, of course, between a couple, because it's a Whedon show. Um, but again, they kind of worked through it, and um, Priya could use Echo's grief to make her see that they can just start again. You know, a lot of this was kind of like the potential to start again and rebuild something, and those two can surely like now rebuild their family and be proper parents to Tony Jr. T. Um, now that Tony kind of is that father figure in his life. So that was really cool. And an interesting dilemma, the fact that he kind of, him and his gang of people became reliant on this technology and switching out their different personalities and bits and bobs like that um, to kind of fight the fight. But the war's over now. So that was nice. Um, I mean, the other members of the gang kind of like turning last minute and being like, well, we don't want things to change, you know? You just want new personalities or new skills, etc. That felt a bit weird, and I feel like that was a bit unnecessary because it didn't necessarily go anywhere. But it is what it is. Um, it wasn't bad by any means, so I don't mind it. Uh, but yeah, things ended up pretty happy with those two as well. And it was an interesting enough conflict to carry the episode and their scenes, but they ended in a good place, and they can raise their child in a decent world, which um, is all any of us, I think, would really want. So I really liked that kind of ending for them. Um, and Alpha seems to have kind of gotten a bit of a hold on himself and he's kind of evolved into a, a more decent person and actually on friendly terms with some of them, which was very bizarre to see, but I actually quite like that because, again, he kind of killed Ballard and then went AWOL again. So the fact that they brought him back into it and gave that character some resolution as well because Alpha, you know, was kind of a, a big standout character, I think, in the show. So it was cool to see him again um, and see him go through his own kind of stretch of redemption like a lot of the morally grey people in the show did get. But that was a really nice moment as well. The fact that he went off just in case when everything happened, he kind of would be restored to a nice, like, sadistic person he was before. So he's kind of removing himself there. That did show a big change in him. And whether or not that did actually happen, I guess we'll never know. I'd like to think it didn't, as Echo was kind of speculating. And because it's the end of the show, we've got a basically happy ending. I feel like he's okay too. So I actually liked that development for Alpha, however briefly it was that we saw him again. It was nice to round off that character too. And just the consistency of this world, you know, we'd seen a couple of like the big Rossum high ups that we'd seen throughout the show were in this episode, but obviously in different bodies because they'd been changing and evolving. That was a cool bit of continuity with those guys as well. And yeah, a surprisingly happy ending for the most part. Bittersweet, I guess, is the right word because... I would have loved Tofu to have lived, but I feel like he was too far gone in his own head and the things he'd done and the things he'd seen and things that had been done to him over the last few years with his tech um, kind of broke him beyond repair. But I think he found some peace, found some redemption, and he's with Bennett now. So sad as I am that that's how his arc ended, I do feel like it's a fitting one. So I'm not going to be like too utterly devastated by it. I mean, it's so sad because he still died fairly young and everything, but um, his final act and the moment 
you know, what his choice in, to make that action in that moment was what mattered and um, really kind of beat up the end to that arc as well. So overall, a really great finale. I really like this one a lot. Um, I feel very satisfied with it, which I'm very glad about. Um, and yeah, that's Dollhouse. Um, I don't quite know what else to say apart from that I really loved the episode and the finale as a whole. And um, it would have been interesting to see how things would have developed and changed and gone if they had, like, the five-year plan actually kind of came to pass. But, you know, that's the business at times. But I think they did a very good job with this finale, considering, you know, they expected that at least, like, another three seasons if they'd gotten their plans, from, um, like, completely fulfilled. But, yeah, that's Dollhouse. Um, quite a long journey getting to this point because, you know, there were some gaps between season one and two and probably felt like a much longer gap between season one and two for my channel because I dropped all the season one in one day so yeah then I think I did like the first two episodes of season two just on like random points when I had a bit of time and then um once I caught up to the hundred a few months back we properly went through it in like a scheduled way almost uh and I'm very glad I did because an amazing amazing show I really have enjoyed reacting to it all the twists and turns so thank you to everyone who kind of suggested it to me because i'd never heard of it until i got some suggestions um and yeah there's a lot of ups a lot of downs some twists and turns and surprises and tears and laughs and i've absolutely loved it the cast were fantastic really interesting and morally great concept that they explored the character arcs for so many of the characters were awesome um and you guys have been wonderful as well. So thank you to everyone who kind of supported these reactions since they started. Um, and all the patrons for this season who watched the full reactions as well. Um, it's been a blast. I've really loved the show. It's awesome. Um, and I'm, I'm really sad it's over, but I am really satisfied with the ending too. So good stuff there. That was Dollhouse. Thank you for your support on my reactions to this show. It's been awesome. And who knows what's going to be coming next um, in terms of like other than maybe like weed and stuff or seeing this cast in something else. I don't know. But for now, that's the end of a really great journey. So thank you um, for sticking with it with me, whether you were here when I dropped all of season one or if you found me in like the recent months or past year or whatever. Um, however long you've been around and watched any of these Dollhouse reactions. Thank you so much, and it's been awesome. So that was Dollhouse, an amazing show, amazing story, and an amazing ending, in my opinion, that I really, really loved. So, yeah. I guess that's that. Time to fall asleep for a little while. And until my next reaction, thanks for watching. <laughs>